you'll find the sons of thunder Underneath the Texas skies And the spirit that was thunder Is shining in their eyes I hear thunder Calling as it grows They're quick as Texas lightning They've got thunder in their souls. I hear thunder. Everything all right, ma'am? Wow, am I glad to see you. Good. Oh, come on, Teresa. You gotta be kidding. What do you mean by cute? I mean, cute. Here, I'll put in a sentence for you. Trent is cute. Cuter than me? <laughs> what have we got? Well, it's pretty much the same MO as the first three. I've got no signs of forced entry, there's no signs of sexual assault, and nothing appears to have been taken. Wait, you said pretty much the same MO. What's different? There was a note with the body. This whole case is getting very strange. Addressed to you, Detective. To me. You dusted it for fingerprints? Yeah, we dusted it for prints and it came up empty. Dancing alone in a dark sea of death, watching and smiling as they draw their last breath. He says I'm pathetic, wants me in chains, but amidst his desire, the question remains is the good detective up to the test? Or will it just prove that I'm the best of the best? Jeez, that's creepy. Yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy. The world is in a spin. Won't somebody help me with the trouble? I'm Teresa's the funniest, smartest, most beautiful woman I know. Why shouldn't I ask her out? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Because, one, she's your partner, two, she carries a gun, and three, she knows how to use it. All good points. <laughs> and don't forget number four. She's way too good for you to begin with. <laughs> Thanks, Butch. Well, if your friends can't tell you, who can? That's right. So, how's that arm? That's fine. Bullet just barely creased it. Another eighth of an inch to the left would have missed me entirely. Yeah, and another two inches to the right, we'd all be wearing dark suits talking about what a great guy you were. <laughs> You don't pull any punches, do you? Well, if you're gonna pull them, why throw them? Joe Trent or something I don't get. What are you doing going after a heroin dealer to begin with? I mean, you're a P.I., not a cop. Well, the parents of one of his ex-clients filed the wrongful death suit. They hired me to get some evidence, but at the moment, I'm at a dead end. Bobo seems to have completely disappeared from the face of the earth. You know, you need to talk to an old boy named One-Eyed Jackie. Now, if anyone knows anything, it's Jackie. And don't be afraid to squeeze him if you have to. That little weasel owes me. You know, and not for nothing, Butch, but it seems like just about everybody in Dallas owes you in one way or another. Yeah, what can I say? You got a generous heart, I guess. Hey, Butch, we need another round over here. Coming right up. What do you think he means by that? All right. 
back to Teresa. Mm -mm. Leave it alone. I'm not gonna ask her out. Well, good. Think maybe I can get her number? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Don't even. Sure, can you? Yep. If you're not gonna use a gun, Trent, you've got to learn to use something. I want you to learn to use these where you can hit anything you're aiming for. Preferably to wound. But if you have no option, poach. All right, you try it. Should I wound them? Why not? Now relax, visualize, and throw. I don't know if that wounded him, but, but it scared the hell out of him. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Let's try it again. Okay. So, this letter the killer sent you, what do you make of it? It's a wacko with an axe to grind. Fair enough, but why you? Been thinking about that. This is from two weeks ago, when the killing spree started. This is my crime scene, and if you're not out of here in five seconds, I'm placing each and every one of you under arrest. Why are you so hostile, detective? Why am I so hostile? Inside that building is the body of a young woman. A woman that's never going to hold her children again. A woman whose husband will never hold her in his arms again. And somewhere out there is some pathetic little loser desperate for attention. And you're all about to turn him into the next media monster. That's why I'm so hostile. Pathetic little loser, desperate for attention. Yeah, that might do it. Detective Sandoval. So... Would you like my little poem, Detective? Actually, I prefer limericks. I'll keep that in mind. So, got any leads? No, you want to give me some? But what would be the sport in that? Come on, Detective, you need to step up to the plate here. Sport? Step up to the plate? This isn't a game. No, but that's where you're wrong, Detective. You see, this is a game. And you're playing whether you like it or not. Sending in a profiler? Yeah, tomorrow. But I figured, who needs a profiler when you got a Texas Ranger? <laughs> look, I know you're leaving for Quantico tonight, so uh, maybe you take a look. This guy's got a big ego. He's gonna test you, Carlos. He wants to prove that he's smarter than you. Be careful. I'll oh, be careful, Walker. Thanks. You see, this is a game. And you're playing, 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 playing. Let me guess. I'm I, Jackie. Let me guess. Rocket scientist. <laughs> <laughs> Need to ask you some questions. You caught? Nope. Then beat it. Can't do that. Why, sure you can. Get rid of it. Guys, you don't want to do this. friend of Butch. Well, why didn't you say so in the first place? What do you need? I'm looking for Bobo Barnes. I'll have to make some calls. Let me tell you something. As far as I'm concerned, just picking up the phone and get Bobo Squares thing for me and Butch. You tell him that. I will. Tell him nice, okay? Wouldn't want to upset him. Four 
Boba, including Boba. And Tommy Guns. He's the man that shot you. All right, thanks. Now, you better get out of here. You tell Butch I helped you, right? Yeah, yeah, I'll let him know. 35 kilos of heroin. I want to recut, repack, and out of here in the morning. Any questions? Yeah, I got one. How'd your mom ever come up with a name like Bobo? What, was she expecting a monkey? Find him and kill him. Teresa, I don't get it. I mean, your family has more money than Gates. You can do anything you wanted. Pretty much. You became a cop. That's all I ever wanted to be, as far back as I can remember. Ooh. What about you? Uh, when I was 12, my brother was killed by a drug dealer. And uh, well, when I saw what that did to my mother, I knew right then that I never wanted anyone else to ever have to go through that. So you decided to become a cop? Actually, first I applied to the Superhero Academy, but didn't get in. Superhero Academy, huh? Mm hmm Had my own cape and everything. <laughs> well, their loss, our gain. <laughs> Excuse me, Detective Kelly. There's a telephone call for you in the bar. Hmm. I hope it's not Mother. She's been a little under the weather lately. Well, if it is, give her my best. Relax, visualize, and throw. Uh, okay. Relax, visualize, and throw. How does Walker make this look so easy? <laughs> Surprise! Drop it now! Carlos, please. There's no need to escalate matters. Drop the knife now, or I swear to God, I will blow your head off. You know, Carlos, you're making things very difficult. I don't want to kill her. I really don't. But if I have to... If you kill her, you've got nothing. There'll be nothing stopping me from blowing you straight to hell. That's right, and that's very good, Carlos. Now you're thinking. But here's the problem. That argument only works if the hostage taker's afraid to die. And here's a hint. I'm not. What do you want? Just to talk. All right. Put the knife down. Then we'll talk. Good, Carlos. Good. Always maintain control of the situation. But here's the problem. You're not in control. I am. So now put down your gun, or I'll kill your partner. Carlos, please. If I wanted to kill her, she'd be dead. But I don't want to kill her. And we're all having too much fun here. Like I said, I just want to talk. So now I'm going to count to three, and either you put down your gun, or I cut your pretty partner's throat. It's completely up to you. Ready? One. Two. Okay, Carlos, but remember, this didn't have to happen. Three. Okay, okay, okay. Wait, all right? All right, I'm putting the gun down. 
right? And now we'll talk. Detective, what did they teach you at the academy? Basic procedures manual, section six, paragraph three. You never lay down your gun in a hostage situation. Because now I don't need the hostage. <laughs> officer's report, you laid down your weapon. That's right. Detective, you are familiar with the basic procedures manual. Look, Ryan, I made the best call I could under the circumstances, all right? You weren't here, I was. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you that. I wasn't here. But I'll bet you Detective Kelly wishes I had. You sorry, smug little hacks of a... can't take me off this case. It's gotten too personal, Detective. And given the events of this afternoon... The events of this afternoon are exactly why you can't take me off this case. It's already been done, Detective. I'm reassigning this investigation to Detective Ryan. You should know that I've requested a full investigation of the incident. In addition, I've asked that you be placed on restricted duty pending outcome of the investigation. Is that true? I'm sorry, Carlos. choice. You are making a big mistake, son. He killed my partner, Captain. I can't just let that go. turn in your shield because they took me off the case and you want to catch the guy that killed your partner that's right you really think that's going to help you catch him yeah, i really thought i was going to be a cop for the rest of my life yeah 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 and i thought i was going to be heavyweight champion of the world too but uh stuff happens what marks a man is what he does about it.
Sorry about that, Butch. I just can't seem to get the hang of this. Well, you're just trying too hard. That's all, Trent. See, what you need to do is just relax. You visualize and throw. You know, I'm surprised Walker never taught you that. By the dojo, he told me what happened. Are you all right? Yeah, I am. Why didn't you call me? I needed some time to put some things together. I'll get it. Send of our residence. Hey, let me talk to Carlos. Who's this? A friend. I think it's him. What do you want? Oh, I just wanted to see how you were doing. I mean, uh, hell of a day, huh? First, you, you, your partner gets killed right before your eyes. Then you, you turn in your gun and your shield. I mean, what's that feel like? Oh, your plans, your whole future, gone. Just like that. Who's pathetic now, detective? Huh? Want some help? Yeah, I do. Good. How did he know about me turning in my shield? Yeah. Not only that, but when he talked about me leaving the force, it was almost like it was personal. Maybe it was. Or an ex-cop. Yeah. Right, it all makes sense. What, 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 what? That, uh, you're a lousy cop? And now you want to throw mud on the whole department? Yeah, sure, swell. That makes perfect sense. And it also underlines how pathetic you are. Ryan, listen to me. No, 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 no. You listen to me. You're not a cop anymore, Sandoval. And as far as I know, you don't get no ticket either. So, if I catch you jeopardizing this investigation, in any way, I will land on you with both feet. And believe me, it won't be pleasant. You've been warned, okay? Yeah. Marita, hey. Hey, Carlos. I heard about what happened with Teresa, and I'm sorry. Me too. I need a favor. Marita, I understand if you can't do it. It has to do with the guy that killed Teresa? Yeah. What do you need? Officers dismissed from police forces in North Texas in the past five years. Wow. Well, for starters, we go through and categorize reasons for dismissal. We put anything involving violence, and particularly violence toward women, in a separate file. Hey, man, I know it's a long shot, but right now, it's our only shot. No, no, it's not that. It's just that... I hate to even think that this guy could have been a cop. Yeah, me too. Okay, these are all the officers dismissed as a result of charges involving violence. And these are dismissals specific to violence against women. Now what? Tomorrow. Start knocking on some doors and track them down.
knocked off a bunch of names, and tomorrow we'll knock off more. If he's on the list, we're gonna find him. Yeah. What if he isn't on there? Then what? Hello. It's nice to have you back on the case, Carlos. I was never off it. You know, Carlos, I really admire your spirit. What do you want? Have you checked your mail? I think you should. Let's go. A hidden clue, a nonsense verse. Some hero's quest, some monster's curse. Many times he looks for me, in darkest shadows I yearn to see. The look of fear that haunts her eyes, her hopeful plea before she dies. Uh, hidden clue... The poem doesn't make any sense. It's not supposed to. He tells you right at the top it's a nonsense verse. It's an acronym. What? You mean the first letter of each line. Uh, A S. M-I-T-H. A. Smith. He gave us a name. Yes? Hi, Miss Smith. Uh, you okay? Yeah. We had a report of a burglar in the area. It's, it's, it's okay. We, I've, I've checked your property in the surrounding area, and everything appears to be fine. But I've... I'm having trouble with my radio. I think it's the battery. Would it be all right if I came in and used your phone? Oh. Well, sure. a working crime scene. Leave now or have you both arrested. All right? What was her name? What was her name? What did I just tell you? Was it Smith? How would you know that? Five and five blackbirds and five little beds. As of zero hours Saturday, one will be dead. dead. Two will be crying. One flies away, and the game will continue, because I still want to play. Five and five blackbirds, five little beds, zero hour one two. It's a telephone number. Five 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 zero one two one. Apartment right now. Carlos. Huh. So close. And yet so far. No, please help. Please don't. I heard what happened. That poor woman. We need some more information. Excuse me. Is it Carlos Sandoval? Yeah. So what you doing here? I thought you left the force. Uh. Oh, shoot. Huh. Ain't none of my business. I, I'm sorry. What's wrong with me? I'm running my mouth asking into your business. It's OK. Gee, you must think I'm some kind of pathetic little loser or something. No. You said you needed more information? Yeah. It's him.
See, this is a game, and you're playing, 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 whether you like it or not. Carlos, but I'm not done yet. He's a cop? We need to put a name to the face. Well, personnel files will have the pictures. Great. No, wait. He's not a cop. He never was. Pull up the files for everyone who was denied admission to the police academy in the past two years. Jack Lasovsky denied admission to the academy due to concerns about his psychological stability. And we've got an address. What are you two doing here? Oh, man. What happened to your face? I fell. Uh-huh. Miss Cortez, if I find out you've been aiding and abetting these, uh, civilians on police department time, the next report you write will be entitled My Day at the Unemployment Office. Ryan, you got nothing to worry about. Miss Cortez is a dedicated employee, and she would never do anything unless it was authorized. Watch yourself, Miss Cortez. Yes, sir. come to an end with the death of your Mexican friend. But, Carlos, I'll give you one chance to finally end this sick dance. Come at once, come alone, to the bend. He's got Marita. Oh, Uncle Ryan. No, you heard the poem. I've got to go alone. Go alone? What are you, crazy? It's the only chance to save Marita. How can you trust him? This whole thing, the dead women, Teresa, now Marita, it's all about him proving that he's better than me. If I go along with him, he'll play by the rules. If he doesn't, it makes his victory worthless. What's the bend? Oh, it's where we found the first body. So he's come full circle. Yeah. Come on. 
psychologically unsound. That's what she said. The department psychologist. Dried up old witch. Psychologically unsound. Now, let, let, me, let, let me ask you. And, and, uh, you can be honest with me. Do I seem psychologically unsound to you? Hello. Carlos, welcome. You know Miss Cortez? Let her go. <laughs> is it just me, or does it seem like deja vu all over again? No. This time it's totally different, because this time I'm going to count to three, and then I'm going to blow your brains all over this warehouse. You shoot me, I can still shoot her. Maybe. Maybe not. Go ahead, Carlos. Just shoot him. And you're willing to take that chance. One. Don't count. Just shoot. Two. Letting me have him. By the way, that was a hell of a throw of the shuriken. Not really. I was aiming for his throat. <laughs> you know, we make a pretty good team. Yeah, we do. One good reason why I shouldn't run the both of you in right now for obstructing an ongoing investigation. Hmm? How about because we caught the guy? And saved my life. Luck. It's funny how luck and know-how seem to go hand in hand. Congratulations, son. Thank you, sir. Although I stand by my earlier decision to take you off this case, be one hard-headed son of a gun not to realize your value to this force and to the people of Dallas. What I'm trying to say, Detective, is I didn't process your resignation. Your gun and shield in the upper right-hand drawer of my desk. I'd appreciate it if you came by my office and reclaimed them. I, uh, I appreciate that, Captain. I really do. But, uh, I've got to give that some thought. Job well done. Thanks, Butch. <laughs> so, you gonna take your shield back? Uh, I don't know. I mean, being a detective is a great job, and it's all I ever wanted to do. I feel a butt there. <laughs> uh, you're right, Walker. I mean, on the other hand, being private really frees you up to handle things the way they need to be handled. Well, there's definitely truth in that. What have you two thought about uh, becoming partners? Hmm. Partners. Well, it's an interesting thought. You know, 
I think Trent really needs me. I need you? See? <laughs> <laughs> well, now, listen, uh, if you all are serious, I know the perfect place to hang your shingle. A lot of space right upstairs, and the price will be right. Can't beat that. What do you say? Sounds good. <laughs> How's it look? Looks good, Butch. Yeah, it sure does. I do have one question, guys. Who's gonna manage the office? Manage the office? Yeah, do all the paperwork. Paperwork? Well, that'd be Trent. Trent? I'm gonna do the paperwork? Zink. I'm glad we got that covered. <laughs> Texas Lightning, they've got thunder in their soul.